Hey, what is up guys? You're watching the ITKQ and today I'm here with Oxo 3. Yes, indeed, Oxo 3 is available. It actually got available about uh, a day ago, I believe, and it's actually available for purchase through the Big Boss repo and you can get this for three dollars. All right, so let's dig in and take a look at what Oxo 3 essentially brings to the table. Now, first of all, Oxo 3 um, kind of brings more detail and more um, personalized kind of a feel to this tweak basically. So Oxo 2 was great but Oxo 3 kind of steps that up even further. So that's essentially what we'll be talking about in this video. The first of all again you can access or you can start with Oxo 3 and I'm actually going to talk about the settings first. So there are three main uh, you can say three main pillars of this tweak. We have multi-center, we have quick switcher and then we have hot corners. Now talking about multi-center, that essentially allows you to have the app switcher as well as the uh, co uh, the control center kind of appear at the same time. So for example, when I do this, you guys can see I've got uh, the control center and the app switcher all at the same time. And again, I can kind of go through uh, my app switcher and then I can again, I can access the uh, control center as well. Now, um, again, you can swipe above. So let me do this with, for example, Instagram. So I can swipe up to close the app or I can move all the way over here and swipe up like this. And that is gonna go ahead and allow me to close all the apps, which I'm not gonna do, but you also get this option. So again, you go ahead and swipe on the home screen and that will bring all these together and it will give you the option to uh, close all the apps that are running. So again, it's a lot of like, it's some more like material design as you guys can see. Uh, it seems quite like that. Now, um, going back again, you can access your control center as well. So all the toggles are here for your ease. So that's multi-center. Now, the next pillar we'll be talking about is a quick switcher. Now, quick switcher is basically the the main feature of Oxo 3. Uh, what Oxo 3 is so like special is probably the speciality of Oxo 3. That's pretty much what it's renowned for. So again, you can swipe from this area, from the left-hand corner, and that will give you the switch, uh, quick switcher. So again, you don't have to go to the switcher and then kind of swipe through your apps. You can just go ahead and swipe from the bottom left-hand corner. Let's do that again. Again, that kind of opened up the multi-center. So let's do this again. So on the iPad, it's just a little difficult, but here you go, as you guys can see. So I can just quickly go through the app so I can go, I want to go to Tweetbot I can just do that again let's do that again I can just go back whoops um, let's do it again there you go and I'm here back here let's go back to settings there we go so that is the quick switcher next we have hot corners now what hot corners does is that basically from the right hand corner right hand side essentially as you guys can see over here if I swipe above it's going to allow me to close the app so again, going back to settings, I can swipe above. Whoops, uh, really it's the corner. Let's do this again. And there we go, it's closed. Now that is essentially what Oxo 3 does. This is essentially the three main features of Oxo 3. Now again, um, I, I'm not using home button at all. So again, if I wanna uh, access the control center, sorry, app switcher, I swipe in the middle, I've got my app switcher done, all right. Now, if I want to go back to the home screen, I swipe above from the right-hand corner and I'm back in my home screen. So no need for home button. And again, I have this quick switcher as well to quickly switch between apps. So that's pretty cool. Now, talking more about some advanced features, if I go over to the advanced options, first of all, we have, got, uh, we have the open to last app, which centers the last app when accessing the multi-center. So again, if I go back, um, so I'm actually in settings right now. So if I do this, again, the latest app is in the center, and then we have the tweet bot and the home screen. So that's essentially the whole reason or the whole you know, the function of open last app, this feature. Then we have got the album artwork, which I don't know, it's not working for me. Uh, the music app is actually giving me a bit of um, some kind of issues as well. But we have album artwork over here as well. Then we have on play, on next, previous and then we have got uh, the auto dismiss option as well but again what this says that tap track title to display swipe left right to skip tracks swipe down to dismiss and hold track title to album art to open the playing app now I don't know why it's not working right now for me 
but it should work. Next we have the close all apps option available as well. So, so this will this also gives you the option to exclude from close all. So for example, if I select settings and if I go all the way back and if I go back to the switcher and I swipe up and I say close all, it's going to close all the apps, but again the settings app is still opened. So that's the whole reason, uh, that's the kind of the uh, uh, this is essentially the function of uh, this kind of area right here and then we can say exclude uh, currently playing as well so if there's any audio being played it's going to exclude that app as well that can be Spotify, that can be SoundCloud, music, whatever then we have got access home screen so we have that option as well and this option is actually not available for my iPad mini but that's access app switcher pull up further in quick switcher to access now I don't know what that is but it's just not working at all and then we have got invert hot corners, which essentially means that I can go for left for this to uh, for now the right hand corner is for the quick switcher, and the left corner is to um, get back to the home screen. So again, now it's the other way around. But again, I can go ahead and disable that as well. And then we have disable in application. So select apps to disable hot corners in. So you can select any app that you don't want this feature to work in. So for example. I can say settings so it's not going to work anymore as you guys can see now opens up control center but if I go back and I do this it works uh, in the home screen and it should work in all the other apps as well so guys, that is essentially what Oxo 3 is uh, one of the best tweaks uh, it's one of the best tweaks out there for three dollars I think it's a real really good pricing so again um, so you don't have to use your home button at all so again to exit the app, just swipe from the top left hand corner, so I bottom left and right hand corner, do this for quick switching, and then do this uh, to get to the app switcher. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys check out um, my social links down below, and also I'm working on my website as well, uh, which should be uh, releasing quite soon. I'll be launching that pretty soon as well. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, just go and check out this Oxo 3. It's a great, great tweak. Make sure you guys uh, purchase this and use this. It's a phenomenal tweak. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Peace out.